Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize, and in this short video I want to show you a different way of creating a reactive attribute. So in the previous video we've taken a look at this application that has a counter that's tied to a progress bar. Now the counter widget, which is composed of this button right here, it's just a button, right? And regardless of the value of the reactive, the counter reactive, the button doesn't change. It's always this button and the plus 10. But one thing I've said in the very first video about on this short series about reactivity is that whenever a reactive attribute is changed, the widget is re-rendered. And so what I'll do here is let's take a log. I'll take the log widget, I'll add it to my app. And in my counter widget, my custom counter widget, I'll do the following. I'll override the method render. Um, I'm going to override the method render, right? And in it, in it, what I'll do is I'll go to the app, I'll query the log, and I'll write line, I'll write re uh, rendering, sure, just rendering. And then I'll I'll leave the actual rendering to the superclass. So this is, I'm just intercepting the method render to log whenever I'm rendering the widget. And so if I rerun my application, um, pum, 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 I did something silly, I need to return the actual render. And I did something, something silly times two, and I will render none, but I'm returning the not in it, what am I doing to my life? I want to run the render method of the superclass. Right. And so whenever I press the button, you can see that I'm rendering the button again. And that's because when I press the button, I change the reactive. And when the reactive changes, the widget is re-rendered. For this type of situations where I want reactives and I want the magic of a reactive but I don't want the widget to re-render and this is a, a small widget maybe it's fine to re-render it a bunch of times but for some widgets it's not fine to re-render them a bunch of times what I can do is I can instead of importing reactive what I can do is import var as, as short for variable and this var creates a reactive attribute that does not force a re-render of the widget so if I go ahead and run it I do plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. You can see that I still have the magic of the, the, the watch method, for example. It's still working. The progress bar is still updating, but I'm not re-rendering the widget one, um, over and over again. So this is very useful when you want to have reactive widgets on things that are not necessarily changing when the reactive attribute itself changes. So if you have further questions, feel free to ask them. Otherwise, I hope this was a useful video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.